What's up, everybody? What is up, Team Fury's Furious P? In my little unit, in my little warehouse. And today, I like, started working out here. And it was hot, but it was peaceful in here. And everything felt awesome. And I just started reflecting and saying, how blessed, blessed I am. Blessed I am to have this. Yeah, I worked my ass off and everything, but I'm, nevertheless, I'm still blessed to simply have this opportunity. This opportunity to come in here and train whenever I want on my own and just like, if I want, I can crank out music, I can yell, I can have chalk flying, I can drop weights, I can just do whatever I want, right? And I love that, I love that. Sometimes I forget how amazing this is and how amazing of an opportunity it is because you come here day in and day out and you almost get used to this process, right? Of just coming here and training. And right now I just feel, I feel awesome. I got Goku gains going through my blood. I'm doing a shitload of deadlifts right now. I'm just trying to get my endurance up a little bit. So I'm working with like a lighter weight, uh, three, 335, just 335, Not, nothing, nothing special at all. But I'm trying to do like 20 reps a set, uh, which gets pretty damn tiring as I'm about to go into my fifth set. But I just want, like, there's so many people that sometimes, I get it, we're all at different levels in our life. Um, you know, some have everything set out for them, everything laid out for them, and everything is super straightforward and easy. Some people have it extremely difficult. Every single day is a, a, a struggle to get through and they can't get through their lives, you know? It's very, very difficult to get through their lives. And we're all at different levels. But there's always something that we have to be blessed to have. You know, there's that feeling that, that just gives you a little bit of warmth, happiness. Um, sometimes there's lots of things that give you a lot of happiness and and you know you feel warmth and you feel blessed. I just feel really blessed to just to have this opportunity. Be in my gym and you know you, you guys know how much I love fitness. It changed my life. It saved my life. Did everything for me. And I, I, to have this opportunity right now, just doing deadlifts and in the in the heat and and just being able to do this on my own whenever I want to is just a surreal feeling. It's a surreal feeling sometimes, right? And so even if you have everything going for you, you have everything like, you know, for example, you, your parents made a shitload of money and now you have a ton and you can do whatever you want, whatever. Be blessed to have that. Be blessed. Don't take it for granted. Be blessed to have that, you know? Uh, and then if you don't have it, you know, things going for you, there's gotta be something in your life, whether it being the smile of, of, of a girl that's in your life, or, or mom and dad, or, or a dog that's like barking at you and, and uh, you know, simply just excited to be around you. Be blessed to have that. Just be blessed for the little things because you never know what can happen. Anything can change for the better or for worse. And so be blessed to have those things because right now I just, I feel happy. I'm gonna knock out another set. <sighs> just just wanted to whip out the camera for a sec. Haven't vlogged all weekend and just just felt right. Just felt right. Ooh, good morning. Good morning. Ooh. Fierce Pete's looking rough this morning. <gasps> 6 a.m. We're up to LA. Uh, I'm super excited for this trip. One reason being is I, I do many trips a year to LA for business. And this is my first trip to LA this year for business. And because you guys know I had setbacks and all that other stuff. So I'm super excited to be heading to LA simply because it means I'm going back into the routine of things, which is awesome. I'm not super excited about the fact that I am half asleep right now. Um, I'm gonna just, I think I'm just gonna sleep on this entire flight. Or not. You know what, no. I slept five hours. I feel pretty good about that right now. So I didn't go to bed as late as I thought. And I'm gonna edit a vlog. I don't remember last time I saw it this damn busy as the airport. It is absolutely insane. I'm sure you guys were in there. It's like a combination of people traveling for business on a Monday, and people traveling for a vacation because it's summer. It's crazy. I'm in the lounge for literally two minutes. I'm giving a little bit of uh, a little bit of egozala into my body. And then uh, hopping on the planes. 
so we'll catch you then. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? Just working Without at the chocolate fan. store. That's Hi. like, this is like my favorite place. This is my favorite place. I'm gonna buy everything. I'm gonna take one of each and uh, just a little snack for the yeah, to go. Yeah, totally. It makes yeah. sense, right? We yeah. can make a YouTube video out of oh, it. Oh yeah, another maple Eat off? video. Eat off? Yeah, totally. Eat off right now? Yeah. Um, I'll, 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 I'll totally beat you. Oh, she'll probably will. She probably will. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice meeting you too. Off to the gate, the first gate. Actually, there's only one gate trip. We're going direct. Going direct. F69. It's always fun when you're at the gate. F69. I'm so immature. I will always be immature for the rest of my life. You just have to accept that. Let's see what's top rated. Adventureland. It's a good, good movie. I feel like I want to watch that. I might watch that. I've seen that movie many times. Finally landed in LA. It looks like I'm in a different terminal than I've ever been in before. I've never seen this terminal before. Interesting, I have no idea where I am. Absolutely no idea. That's kind of cool. I like being in terminals I've never been in. It's different, it's fun, and it's adventurous. We split, we literally landed like 45 minutes earlier, and we had to taxi for an hour. That's what happens. You land early, they're not ready for you. So you wait even longer. We're here now and we're off the set. Bro, sick bike, man. Thanks, bro. Is that the one? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's clean. That's real clean. This was, these were chrome pipes, and I just changed them out for those black pipes. Make that's dope. It's all like matte, matte, matte. Yeah. Love it. Love it. How fast have you gone? Uh, 20 miles an hour? Uh, 22. 22. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to hop on. I'm going to hop on, and uh, Alex is going to take us for a ride for ice cream. Oh, yeah. So I haven't vlogged at all since I got off the plane. Uh, basically went to film something really, really cool for a project that is coming out. Tell you guys all about it, but uh, you might see some pictures of like Snoop Dogg and uh, Chuck Liddell and some other, some other fun celebrities. And uh, you'll probably know why that, well, basically there's gonna be something fun happening, but I'm posting pictures on IG anyways. But uh, yeah, it'll be a fun project that I'm gonna explain to you guys later on and you guys are gonna be able to be part of it as well, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh shit, that's loud. Oh buddy, what better way than to start the first night here in LA, catch up on some Game of Thrones that aired yesterday, and some poke, I'm excited. We're excited. To pledge your loyalty once again to House Star. To serve as our bannerman. So I just downed some Goku Gains. I'm here at Alex's for the week. And I'm not feeling, I was about to head out to a public gym. And I just wasn't feeling it. There's some cool bands here. I'm gonna play around with them. I'm gonna do some push ups and band work. Because look at the top here. I mean, it is just awesome to come chill up here and if I can get some kind of workout in up here, who wouldn't do that, right? Just one of those days where sitting in front of the computer, I was like, I don't feel like going to a public gym. I feel like getting in a pretty decent workout, like up here, play around some bands, push-ups, sit-ups, that kind of thing, some lunges, and uh, then I'm gonna call it a day, and then I'm gonna enjoy myself a little bit since I don't come to LA often, I haven't been here in a long time. In a long time, meaning last time I was here was in December, and I just feel like that is a long time. It is a long time. It is a long time for the whole like 
If you're in the YouTube world, I don't even know if I'm, yes. <laughs> and it's bright and sunny. So we got to put on some Fear of Shades. Hashtag Fear of Shades. Hashtag, she aimed for the shades. July 25th, 26th, 27th, something like that. Really, really soon. I promise you guys, it'll be sweet. It'll be sexy. Um, but as far as the whole YouTube is concerned, as far as business, the business side, um, if you're not coming to LA once in a while or on a frequent basis, then there's either your, your business is not going right or you simply just don't need to come here for, for nothing. Like you, you can handle all your stuff wherever it is that you are, but this is where all the business happens. Um, so it's like, if you're gonna start any kind of shows, uh, if you're gonna start working with some companies on big shows or, or working with any kind of products, it's where you gotta come to, to make these kind of business things happen. So tomorrow I got a pretty busy day running around. Um, I'm actually doing a bunch of testing kind of thing for a show that I'm actually doing in August that I can't talk about yet, but you guys will know all about it really, really soon. So I can't wait to share that one with you because you guys are coming along the way with me. What? Coming coming with me for the... Yeah, feels good. A little bit of a small pump, whatever you want to call it. Feels good. Feels really good. One of my favorite things to get whenever I'm out here in LA, as some of you guys may know, is pokey, okay? I love it, and uh, in my, well, some people might argue that it's probably the best out in Hawaii, but I, I'm not out in Hawaii. I'm out in LA, and this is the first place that I've had pokey. Uh, I've had it, or this was the first place I've had pokey. And then I've had it in Toronto. Toronto just doesn't do it right, okay? Um, LA does it right, and I've been trying different places. So this is a new place that I'm trying right now. And so I am going to try this new place. Uh, it is called, new place is called Spinfish. Spinfish, pokey, and it looks like, ooh, looks pretty damn good. You guys see that? I'm gonna open up the lid so there's no like reflection or anything. And right away I can see that it looks pretty damn good because there's lots of fish on top. Um, mm, smells really good. It smells really, really good. And so what is in here, if you guys have been seeing one of these things before, it's almost like um, a naked burrito but with sushi. Does that make sense? So we have a ton of fresh fish, uh, there's avocado, there's rice, there's vegetables, there's sauces. Um, it's pretty much a, a cluster of deliciousness in one. And then I got something called Diet Calib. Um, it's supposed to be a, a new new type of soft drink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this drink, I'm wondering what it is. This tastes like an awful Coca-Cola. That's pretty much what it is. And then, oh, they didn't even give me chopsticks. They knew, I, they knew it was really white when I ordered this, so they gave me they give me a, they give me a fork instead, no chopsticks. Um, so we're gonna give this a try. I'm just moisturizing my hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna enjoy my poke while you do that. <laughs> that. That layer is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh my god! <laughs> you think you can cover your whole body with that? Maybe. I know you can eat that. Oh. <laughs> I'm slightly aroused right now. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, concentrate, Pete. So we got spicy tuna here, we got salmon, and we have ahi. Um, and I'm going to try to taste test this without throwing up because of Alex <laughs> and his antics. It's good. I don't know why. It tastes a little watery, or like it's missing something. It's missing a little bit of flavor of something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the texture. I think it's the texture. It's missing some crunchy elements. Mm-hmm. 
That's exactly what was missing in this right here. Some crunchy elements right here. But overall, it's pretty good. We're just missing that, that element of crunchiness, that texture element. All right, I finished it just because I was hungry. Um, I really didn't like it. There's just, it just wasn't good. It just had terrible texture. And um, as compared with other pokes I've had, this is definitely not the top. It's rated really high on Yelp, four and a half stars, and there's a ton of reviews. Um, maybe, I don't know what the reason was, but I did not enjoy it. Um, as a result, because I'm not in LA that often, I probably won't order from it again. Um, but it was, just, it didn't have that texture, didn't have that delicious feeling. Um, there was something missing and I can't just, apart from the texture and the crunchiness, there's something else missing from it and I uh, just simply, it doesn't get a yay for me this time. I'm gonna sign up this vlog because I'm gonna start a brand new one tomorrow. I was hoping I'd be like vloggity vloggity vlogging all throughout LA, especially in the first part where we were filming with Snoop. Uh, Chuck Liddell and, and a bunch of other influencers, but I wouldn't be able to even show that content right now And you guys are gonna see cool content from that cool commercial that was shot um, Soon soon he's pretty damn soon pretty damn soon um, I'll let you guys know all about that But I'm gonna wrap it up call it a call it a night cuz I gotta get up nice and nice and nice and nice and early uh, for a bunch of meetings and appointments here in LA, so I'm gonna just wrap it up Catch you guys later. As always, my friends, you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains, and get laid. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy.